So in guys, bakit nga pala tayo maglalagay ng pataba or dilum soil? Kasi alam nyo guys, magito yung magsisilbing uh, nutrients. Ayan, especially kapag sandi yung land or yung kung saan tayo nagtanim. Eh, for example, like this. Ayan. It's Hello guys and good morning. This is Patrick Balas again and welcome again to my YouTube channel. So for this video, for this vlog, I'm going to share you guys on um, some tips uh, that things we can consider on planting our rambutan seedlings. So here our rambutan seedlings and and uh, I'm going to share uh, show you guys kung ano yung mga kailangan natin and so we need a shovel and we need a shovel. We need the uh, uh, loam soil. And of course, the main ingredients, char, <laughs> the uh, rambutan seedling. So, and guys, first thing first, we need to consider yung pagpaplant natin is rainy season or the August from the August to December. Ayan, kung saan maulan. And ngayon is September. So, it's a really perf perfect time to plant your rambutan seedlings. So, Second thing na i-consider natin is of course we're going to plant in the morning. Mas uh, I just suggest na mas ma mas maganda na magtanim tayo sa umaga kasi alam niyo na fresh pa yung environment natin. Ayun. Uh, malamig pa yung kapaligiran unlike dun sa magtatanim ka ng hapon. And one one thing more, mas maganda kasi kapag magtatanim ka sa umaga kasi alam mo na uulan sa hapon. So saktong-sakto yun na madidiligan although I'm going to water them pagkatapos ko sa lang maitanim. So, ayan guys, samahan nyo ako magtanim tayo ng rambutan. So, ayan guys, we're going to clean first kung saan tayo magtatanim. And, Siguro ang nagtataka kayo kung saan ako magtatinip yan malapit doon sa mga puno-puno, ganyan. And yan yung third consider natin kapag nagtatinip doon ng rambutan seedlings. Based on my experience kasi nung nagtatinip ako, uh, kapag summer kasi prone sila sa ano, sa init, ayan, madali silang mamatay. Madami akong natanim noon but yeah, some of them are died. Kasi alam mo yan, nag-summer sila and although dinidiligan ko naman sila, so ayan nga, lesson learned. So, yung third natin i-considered kung saan may silong, ganyan. Yan, magtatanim tayo kung saan yung may silong and yun yung magsisilbing protection nila kapag summer na. So, in case, I'm going to start na po magtanim. Ayan. So, ang una natin gagawin is we're going to dig about one foot. few moments later so and guys I think it's about one foot already so now I'm going to put the long soil again I put some long soil and almost half of the whole and now I'm going to you know ilalagay ko na yung seedlings natin Tips ko sa inyo guys, ha? hindi na natin kailangan tanggalin yung uh, plastic bag. Ayan. Kailangan lang natin na, ano, na gupitin. Ayan. Ayan, ganyan siya guys. So, oh. hindi na natin siya kailangan tanggalin yung plastic bag. Kasi, alam mo yan, baka ma-stress pa yung Uh, seedlings natin, madadamage pa yung roots so, baka yun yung ikamamatay niya pa so, although na marami namang space dito kung saan lalabas yung roots niya, so, hindi natin kailangan tanggalin lahat yung uh, plastic bag, especially kapag marami na din siyang roots so, and guys so again, I'm going to put uh, some of the loam soil. Ayan, ilalagay ko ulit yung loam soil. Ito yung magsisil magsisilbing 
fertilizer or pataba dito sa ating seedling. So, ayun guys. Tingin ko lang pa yung loam soil natin. So, kukuha lang tayo ulit ng ating loam soil. A few moments later. So, ayun guys. Bagit nga pala tayo maglalagay ng pataba or di loam soil. Kasi alam nyo guys, mag ito yung magsisilbing uh, nutrients. Ayan, especially kapag sandi yung land or yung kung saan tayo nagtanim for example like this, ayan it's uh, sandy, ayan mabuhangin yung lupa kaya kailangan natin talaga maglagay ng loam soil para alam mo yun, mas malago yung paglaki niya, ganyan mas mabilis siyang lalaki so yun lang yun yung fourth na, fourth thing na i-consider natin so Yan guys, again lang, ganyan lang, ganyan, ganyan. And fifth thing na i-consider natin kapag nagtatinim tayo ng rabot and seedling is kailangan natin talaga siyang diligan ng diligan after natin siya maitanim. Kasi alam mo yun, mas kapag dinidiligan natin talaga yung pananim natin or after natin maitanim yung mga seedlings natin is mas mabilis siyang makapag-adapt. Ayan, so ayan, diligan lang natin siya ng diligan. guys but anyways guys I'm going to show you yung tininim kong banana noon if you watching my vlogs and of my precious vlogs kung saan ako nagtatinim ng uh, banana noon so balikan nyo na lang if you want to watch the vlog so ito guys I share ko na lang sa inyo ito na muna na yung tininim kong uh, banana and burn pa doon and a lot of there so ito lang yung namunga so ayan meron na din siyang mga anak and this is what we call the sort sucker ayan so ayan yung paninim ko namunga na so alam yung nakakataba ng puso kapag namamaan namamunga na yung mga paninim natin so share ko lang po <laughs> so ayan guys kung nakikita nyo I have a lot of ano pa Ramotin siblings na itatanim. So, and guys, we're just going to repeat the process and we're going to consider these things on planting some Ramotin siblings. So, and guys, this is Patrick Palacio again. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe na po. So, see you again to my next vlog. So, naisawin nyo ang kagandaan. This is Patrick Palacio again. Bye! Mwah, mwah, mwah.